you guys. Um, I hope this works. I grabbed a little camera from the depot we were at last night time, and I think this should work to record on the go. Um, I look a bit scary with the black eye, but don't be alarmed. <laughs> um, was a pack of raiders that attacked last night and, and I didn't have to fight so I didn't you know get, get in on the fighting but I was trying to hide away and I tripped for a bunch of wires and I hit my eye <laughs> I haven't cleaned up yet because the infirmary is like everyone are standing to the ones who actually got wounded so mm. but I'll be okay um. last time I talked about how happy I was that I got a hairbrush then a few days after we get hit by raiders and you know we're in actual danger and it just made me realize how silly this is like me recording these moments that I have well you know actual serious things are going going on So, with the fighting, I, I thought I'd just record more meaningful things that, you know, if anyone finds these, if anyone watches these, then they might actually learn something more than, you know, just vain, girly things. So, my story. I was born during, well, during the time where people were just, you know, trying to find some, some way to live their lives because what the war did was just <coughs> obliterate everything everything was gone and in ruins and with the radiation out there not a lot of people would go outside and they just hid away and the ones that did go outside they they mutated I'm sure you all have seen ghouls out there most are kind of friendly the ones you meet anyway but a lot of them went feral, and they still are going feral, because there's still a lot of, you know, hot spots out there with, with a lot of radiation. So that's the time that I was born. My parents they joined up with a trading caravan, and they thought they had a pretty, pretty safe life. All things considered. <sighs> so they had me. And for a while, they raised me and I would help along with the caravan and just go from settlement to settlement and trade with the locals. But, but, Five years ago, we also got hit by raiders and we were not prepared at all. <coughs> like now we have people that are, you know, that, that, that know the way around the guns and set up defenses, so the raiders were dealt with, nobody 
died on her side anyway, but it was a massacre. I don't really want to talk about it too much, but I don't really remember too much about it. But they died, and I was one of the lucky ones. They, they left me, and I got picked up by a group of people shortly after, and they're on their way to find a sanctuary, a safe haven. And that's what we've been doing these past years, trying to find a spot out there in the wastelands that will be able to sustain us where we could live peacefully and put up actual <laughs> good defenses because, you know, few raiders like, like like last night, it's, it's no problem to deal with. We've got quite a bit of people. But if they were to get organized and make a hit on us with a lot of raiders, we wouldn't stand a chance. So that's what we've been looking for. No, I'm just figuring out my purpose here. I thought I'd be a caravan seller for the rest of my life to just live out my days trading and building up my own caravan, but I soon realized that wasn't what I was put here to do. And, and I'm pretty good with the, the tech stuff that they've been giving me that I am learning about, so I, th I think that's what I want to do. I want to help people, I want to help with setting up computers for communication and setting up generators and, you know, water purifiers, that sort of stuff. I just want to help people with that because it seems that that is something that I'm decent at and that can really help people I'm sorry this is so all over the place so before last night still <clears throat> at the depot and of course we always have some people scouting around and apparently one of them had gotten a relayed message they picked up a signal about the area we're in right now and the message said that there were people here that knew about the sanctuary Thing we've been looking for. And I'm not sure if that was exactly a trap, but we haven't gotten much further, and the only thing that happened is raiders attacking us. I don't like to think about it, but what if it is a setup? And this group of raiders that they sent last night was just a part of it, like a scouting mission, just seeing how well our defenses were. I really don't like to think about that. As you know, I'm not really one of the higher ups here, so I don't know much about the decisions that are being made, but I do hope we leave here soon, because this is not a safe place at all. We're basically camped in... Well, 
It's not really a bunker, it's just above ground. Just some houses, really. Just a small little town, and when we got here after we uh, got the message, they just told us we'd be staying here for a while to see, you know, what, what was going on, if there really was some answers to be found there. And I did send out a bunch of scouters. Just to see, you know, if anyone was out there, if there was any any hints, any information out there. And the reddish hit in the middle of night, in the middle of the night, classic. I'm so glad nobody got really hurt. We we have some some gunshots and. Some, you know, broken bones, but that's nothing we can't fix here. I really just wish for a safe place. Somewhere where you can just go outside and don't have to worry about anything. Just not to mute it. Not raiders, not anything, no. <sighs> Dangerous zealous types that, you know, want to convert you into their, their church. I have read about religion before the war and it's not like it is now. There are people that revere um, nuclear power, that revere the bombs. And they're dangerous. At least that, that's what they've told us. And they haven't really told us much that I really felt like I had to doubt. So I just wonder if there's a place like that out here somewhere. Just be safe. Some place that will allow us to stop running, to stop looking. As much as I love all these people here, and as much as I, I trust them and care for them, my running is just, it's just breaking me down. Just moving from place to place and. Never knowing where you're gonna stop, and never knowing where it's safe enough to stop. It's, it's very hard. <laughs> and this is what happens when I start rambling. It just goes all over the place. Oh, I did find, uh, just before we left the depot, I actually f uh, found some audio tapes and they had some relaxation exercises on them, I guess, from before the war. <coughs> I wonder why they really needed those because I don't think many people nowadays use them, but got so much <laughs> stress and anxiety it's not but I, I did try them out and it's really nice to just give yourself a moment to relax even even if things are really scary and to just breathe and feel all your muscles Relaxing. So why don't we do something like that now? It might be nice. Okay. 
from what I remember, you find a relaxing spot to sit or lay down on. To allow your muscles to relax. Start taking deep, deep breaths. In. And out. And in. Deep breaths, just keep keep breathing. And just feel. 